Today I would like to teach you about praying mantises. So praying mantises are these really cool looking creatures that you can find in your garden or in any landscape really where there's lots of wildlife and flowers and bushes and lots of plants. Some of them have wings and can fly so they're moving around in between as well to find new breeding grounds. So let's have a look what this um, work is that we did um, today. So I wrote down questions and then we just googled the answers. So for example, uh, my son is also really a fan of a YouTube channel where he raises mantises as well and teaches you about them. I'll find it and link it in the description. So what is a praying mantis? A uh, praying mantis is an insect and they have a triangular head with bulging eyes. Where do praying mantises li live? So praying mantises live in temperate and tropical habitats and climates. And what do praying mantises eat? They eat living insects. And when they catch them it actually looks really really cool because they'll they're using their really cool folded up front legs to actually um, catch them. So these are some pictures that we have here of the praying mantises. There are many variety of praying mantises. So we'll get to that in a moment as we wrote down the fun facts. So here I found a photo. You see how many different colors there are and varieties. They look so, so cool. So here we have a ghost mantis, a dead leaf mantis, a banded flower mantis, a devil's flower mantis, and the Indian stick mantis. They are just so cool. Very interesting. So we then went online and found some fun facts about praying mantises. So there are about 2,300 species of mantis. That is absolutely amazing. They all look so, so different and some of them are so immensely colorful. Um, so this is a fun fact that my son found out. Uh, the praying mantis can do the stick bug dance. Um, if you're on the internet, you may have seen it. If not, I'll find the video and I'll link it in the description as well. So it's called the stick bug dance, where they just wave around in the wind and trying to scare the enemy away. It looks really funny. Okay, so the next fun fact we have. A praying mantis has five eyes for seeing the movement and also having depth vision which is probably really important for them to catch their prey. Uh, also another fun fact for any gardeners, uh, praying mantis are in a very excellent organic pest control. So if you have a garden where you don't want to use pesticides, this is a wonderful, wonderful way. If you can find a nest and place it into your garden, or even if you find a mantis, you can probably place it in your garden. Uh, it is amazing organic pest control. So, and then we just had a look on the internet and I had my son find different types of mantis. So he wrote down, for example, we have the orchid mantis, which is this one here. It looks really, really cool, like a like an orchid. It's so beautiful. Who knew, huh? Uh, then we also have the ghost mantis over here. That looks incredible. That's crazy. Look at that. How does nature make these creatures? It's so amazing. Anyway, so uh, Toxodera is another variety. Uh, Macromantis. We have a Dolomantis. We have also a giant devil's mantis. We have a flower mantis. We have a dead leaf mantis and a ghost mantis, which is this one over here. But, and there are many, many more varieties. 
And then we have another couple of fun facts, the one we had before, which is that praying mantises are the most effective organic pest control for a garden. And also here is a, a wonderful, wonderful fact. So when you have a praying mantis nest, which looks like this, it's kind of like an egg uh, sack or also called a uh, egg case. So in each egg case, you have about 150 to 180 young mantises, young mantises that can hatch from this one uh, egg case. And what the information that I had online is that only about five uh, may survive. So it's really important that maybe we can uh, place, if you do have a nest like that, place some water beside it. Um, or even mist the young hatchlings with water and um, also provide them maybe with some small insects. So if you have a plant that has aphids on it, you can probably um, break a little piece off and place it near the young aphids and they will probably get that. They, they will eat them and, and catch them. That's, they're just such cool creatures. And... What we did then, I want you to find a really, really cool mantis and try and draw it because they're absolutely amazing. See if you can color it in as well because they're so, so colorful. And I will find some pictures for you so you can take your pick from which mantis you want to draw and you just pause the video and... Um, yeah, that concludes the Praying Mantis lesson for today. Check out the other videos uh, where this guy is actually looking after them and uh, breeding them as well. It's really, really interesting. So write down your fun facts and write down the questions and the answers. Maybe even you can find some photos online that you can print out for your workbook and draw a beautiful picture of a Praying Mantis. So here we go. You have fun with the praying mantis lesson for today. And we'll see you next time. Bye.